Hello guys, welcome to my very very important video and it's about how can you implement nested comment and replies in your Marn stack project especially with the Redux RTK query, Redux toolkit and all the latest stuff that we have. So suppose we have a blog application and here this is just a demo application to show you how you can implement it properly in real life scenario. So if we go to read more, as you can see we have 26 comments including the replies and as you can see all the comments there and the user is static in this case i will put user as admin but when i show you how the authentication works then you're gonna add your own username here dynamically okay so this is as it is for demo purposes to make sure you understand it properly all the topics are very very important i'm gonna show you the back end and the front end as well so first we need to show the demo so this is an post so this is a simple post with a particular id where in the post detail page here as you can see we have the image title and the descriptions all the thing and the description and the discussion we can comment as nice post dear it is a very nice post and if you post click on it and as you can see it is real time added to your database okay as you can see we have a comment in the comments collection nice post here and the username is static admin you can put your name as well which is up to you and it doesn't have any replies as you can see it doesn't have any replies so what you can do you can add a reply to it if you click on this button uh, one form will appear as you can see so that you can reply nice to hear from you too so this is a simple reply if you click on it as you can see it is added and you can also delete it and if you want to add one more this is as you can see you can write this is the second reply okay and now you see this is the beauty this is the latest one this is the latest reply so it is on the top so we reverse the array inside the comment we have the array of replies as you can see in the data structure and if you just reload it and now you see in the comment as you can see this is the post id that we are commenting on this is post 88 as you can see this is the last post and on that we have to have a username who is commenting and the comment nice post here and it's replies replies two replies as you can see zero index and one index because we have two replies so one reply is uh, this comment ID because we are commenting on a particular comment and this is the parent and the reply is nice to hear from you and it is created at this is the timestamp and the object ID of that reply because each reply has their own unique ID so that we can identify it even if you want to delete the reply you need to have this unique ID and even the comment ID so we need to connect our comment with the replies this is very very important to keep track of which uh, which which comment ID this reply is belonging to because comment is the parent of all the replies the data structure is really simple if you want to do dynamic and nested arrays here so this is very very important so you're gonna understand how the nested arrays and objects are working and how can you manipulate this in using the front end and the back end in this particular video this would be really really awesome for you guys so now you can delete it as well so as you can see it is deleted if you click on this it is deleted okay the comment you don't need to make a feature to delete a comment it is very simple you can do it for your own assignment but i'm going to show you how can we delete this reply because it is inside a comment okay so this is really simple it is not just for one if you just uh, as you can see we have 28 discussion if you add one more suppose uh, this is another comment and as you can see this will increase as you can see because you have added one more comment and also it calculates the total comment you have one two three four uh, five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen total and seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four five six seven eight nine okay so total 29 discussions so we're gonna calculate all the comments including his child replies also uh, and calculate the total sum which would be 29 and the 29 discussions that you're gonna have okay you're gonna learn all of those things especially you're gonna learn the delete and this total calculations in the second part but this part we're gonna add the add comment functionality and also you're gonna add how you can reply this on particular comment section so let's start with this comment section first first we're gonna write some comment and post some comment to our database using our front end okay so let's make our back end first so back end is very important 
as you can see if we go to comment model i have already created some stuff for you so that this video doesn't get too long because it is very complicated subject you need to understand everything properly so in the comment schema i have two important things i need to keep track of which post i'm commenting in because we are commenting on a particular post as you can see we are commenting on a particular post so we need to have a post id and this schema type is object id because this is an object id that we need to reference on particular post okay and make sure it is required to it is very very important because we need to have a reference because we are in the comment schema or comments collection we need to keep track of which post i am commenting post id is actually the parent of this comment okay one post have so many collections of comment okay so we need to keep track of which post id i am commenting on so this is very very important and that's why we need a reference and you can have a admin username of any username or authenticated username if you add authentication you're gonna add uh, your your own name okay or username and make sure this type is string record true and we have a comment or you can name it as normal text that you write here then this is the thing that you're gonna write here so this is very important and here this is the most important thing which is the replies replies is an array of object because i didn't make a separate table for or separate collection for replies because it would be too much um, referencing i don't want to show you too much referencing because comment is already having a reference with post id but one comment uh, may have multiple replies that's why the nested array comes in the this comment schema has a nested array as you can see replies is an array object array of object and in the array of object we have uh, one object should have contained the username who actually replies and the comment id it is very important and it is also object type um, schema type object id and record true because each reply should always keep track of which comment id i am replying okay because replies are child of each comment id so comment id is the parent of replies and replies is the child of comment id so one comment id might have multiple thousands thousands course of replies so that's why it is an area of object so that's why we have a nested area of object here and then we uh, we have to apply the reply the actual reply that user gives and the created at we're gonna work on this later but first add a simple comment here so that we can show into our ui so this is our first step so we need to go to our comment route and we can go to our post route and just copy this you can do it very fast and just to remove everything and this is a simple route and in the router.post first we need to create a comment okay so how can we create it so here we're gonna write uh, create comment okay so let me remove all those things and it should come from our comment controller we need to make our comment controller here now to comment controller and we can copy all those things from the post controller and paste it here so we will just comment everything and this one also we're gonna okay so first we're gonna work with this thing okay and also you can remove this as well it don't need post first we created our comment routes and here it is a post request because we're gonna add some data to our uh, from our client to backend so this is post request and our this request is create comment but we need to have one more parameter is which um, post we are commenting on so we need to have a post id okay slash create comment because we are commenting on a particular post id so we need to keep track of this thing because we are working on our detail page we need to keep track on which post we are commenting on so that's why you need to keep track and we're going to get this using the request.params in the express.js okay and we're going to copy this thing and this should be create a comment okay this is our main function name and this should be our route create this function create comment so let me go to our comment controller and save this to our comment controller here and it should be create comment okay and which are the property we need we need the property post id need and also we need the comment that user gives and the username and uh, one more property if i go to our model comment model post id username comment and replies so these are the field post id username comment 
so if we go to the command controller we need comment username and this the, the two properties is very very important okay so then we also need one more property which is const id is equals to request dot params dot post id and this post id is coming from this thing comment route okay this route this is a dynamic post id route so we have created this functionality in the comment controller and we need to export it so how can we export it create comment okay we have exported it if we go to the routes and we're gonna create comment okay so now as you can see it is exported from comment controller dot js because we are using import module if i go to the package.json i am using type module so that you can work with it okay import the statement if i go to comment routes as you can see we have to import this create comment functions from our controller of the comment controller and we need to paste it here in the route file this is very very basic if you don't know all of those things you can watch um, my this video course as well and i already talked about the rtk query redux setup and all the backend and functionality that you guys need to work with this because this is a little bit of advanced topic and you should understand it very very carefully here and if you go to create comment so this is the thing we need and one more thing is the id okay so uh, let me just remove it if id is not undefined then we're going to create comment and instead of post it should be comment because we're working on the comment model and we can remove all those things we don't need any of those things we need um, the comment the post id that is coming from the this params because dot params dot id we need uh, comment whichever the user gives and also the username if you have a username then it should be username or you can give it any name admin okay in case and this comment the post id comment and username only this field you need to create a comment and you need to pass created comment okay that's beautiful and we should have a try catch here within this because otherwise it will not work and else i'm gonna put um, the pass this thing response 404 not found and here i'm gonna pass a message uh, comment with this post id not found okay very simple and this is our created comment paste it okay and give us the response then the new comment is created okay and type check it if, if it has something okay so create comment is successful now we need to check up uh, that if it is working or not okay and we need to have our comment model imported import comment model from comment model dot js it is very important you to add dot js okay now we have to import we already imported the common model and pass some data and now it is created for that we need to have one more route set up because uh, we have the comment routes here we have to export this route and we need to export it on and use in server.js here you can copy this thing and this is our root api and this is for the comments so i make it i show you all the best practices as you can see all the code are in modular way comment controller is separate post controller is separate and uh, comment model post model are separate and the routes are separate and their api endpoints are also separate okay so we need to import something similar to that we can import comment routes routes and comment route dot js comment routes dot js okay and we can use this thing here okay. okay so if we go to the comment routes we can go api slash comments and then post id slash create comment okay so this is our main route okay so you need to add those two in the beginning as well so keep this is very important so total api should be this 
okay but in the routes file we keep it clean we don't add this again and again we add this thing in server.js uh, using the app.use this is our the header of our api endpoints so our main api endpoints api slash post will go to all the routes regarding the post and comments is actually for the comments because in blog application post comments to these are the two very very important features and this is our front end code so in the front end code we need to have a root api this is the simple create api rtk query features rtk query if you don't know anything about rtk query then you need to watch those videos especially uh, all the videos regarding the first three or four videos are very very important for MARN setup for redux toolkit rtk query all the greatest, greatest stuff that i have already showed you please watch those videos those are the complete basic of it you need to have a root api that have the reducer path of api tag types which type of thing it is if it is comment it should be comment if it is a post type it is a post type different kind of thing and we have the base query that is also coming from the redux toolkit query react as you can see and also the base url because this slash api this is our base url it is not for post or for comment it is the base url that we have to have and the endpoints and the endpoint this is also modular i have created two different thing one is for post api that fetches all the post from our backend as you can see and also uh, add post as to the, our backend and and also for the single post based on its id we have created all of those things but now we need to reuse it we can copy this thing and go to comments api and paste it so make sure that we have already have a comment slice as you can see its name is comments using the create slice from the redux toolkit we have the initial state which is empty and the reducer if you want to add any functionality based on reducers you can write these actions here okay and you need to export comment slice dot reducer and you need to add it to your uh, store.js as you can see this post slice and comment slice is also add, added and for the post api we need to add this line as well and you need to have a middleware setup okay so this is all coming from the redux toolkit article query documentation this is nothing fancy and we have created the uh, this concatenation this post api because we need to create a api endpoints to fetch our data from backend to client side using the article query so these are all the things that i have showed you in this playlist video which is very very important okay otherwise you don't understand lots of the thing here so we already copied all the thing from the post api file to comments api file here we're going to implement all the data fetching using the rtk query so this is our root api as you can see slash api and we need to go to our backend and here we're going to comment out we need to go to our slash post id slash create comment to add a comment okay so this is very very important and if we go to our comments api we need to copy everything from the post api and go to here and just and just these are our endpoints and this should be comments api comments api otherwise you will have some error because this is not for post before comments and this is for the single we don't need that at all and this is for the fetch comments but we're going to implement it later but at this moment i'm going to give it the endpoints slash um this at the end point it should have a post id okay and comments okay this is for the dummy fetch comment but we're gonna work with our add comment here okay so this is the main thing and first we need to go to slash comments slash post id slash add create comment let me go to our backend and server.js so we need to get that thing and also the post id so in the comments api this is very important and we have a post id then we have a create comment okay so this is very very important and this should thing should be dynamic post id okay and we need to have a post id here on which post id we are commenting and the data given by the user and this should be a template syntax template syntax it is method post because we are posting something and um, body is equals to the data that user gives at comment okay so let me remove everything use add use add comment mutation and before that we need to register it otherwise it will not work because we have to register this fetch comment and add comment functionality uh, into our store okay 
So we're gonna import comments API from features comments folder comments API and here we're gonna use it. Comments API dot reducer path is equals to comments API dot reducer similarly to that and and the comma there and here we need to concatenate one more middleware which is comments api dot middleware this middleware is important because rtk query will have all the thing in the back end uh, it will fetch all the data regarding this comment from the back end to the front end okay and put it on your uh, redux toolkit rtk query side because in this way you're gonna fetch all this data asynchronously in the back end of this code so this is the thing the article query does really really well so i think now it should work use add comment mutation as you can see after you sign it all of our um, back end after you sign this comments api into our uh, store.js after you register it and add a middleware to it now it, you can work with it as you can see now it, it is giving us our suggestions so our mutation is working fine it is a mutation because we are adding some information in the create comment we're adding some information from the client to the backend so that's why it is method post and we need to pass some information to the body so it is a mutation okay delete add update or mutation if you want to get anything then it's a query to do it for our post detail page so you need to go to a post detail page and here in the use params we are getting all the post by its id if i go to the app.js as you can see this is a single detail post page and this is a dynamic parameter and if you go there as you can see we are getting it using the use params and based on these params we are getting all the post this is a single post by its id and uh, we need to have a functionality to post a comments okay so comments if is not found and import comments api post api i think it should come from like this okay now it's working now we need to make this functional so we need to write something inside our post detail page and we need to hold it inside this state because we already imported this state and this is on change whatever you write here whatever you write here will store in this comment set comment whichever you write in your targeted value and you need to use this thing but when you uh, click on this submit when you click on this post comment you need to get some features and here we're gonna add it const i name it add comment and it is coming from use add comment mutation nice so now we are in the ui component we are not in the feature component as you can see we're in the post detail we need to call this add comment and definitely it is coming from our comments api add comment as you can see this add comment here okay and we need to add this thing and also we need to add this thing here as well in the add comment we need to pass two information we need to pass the id if we go there we need to pass the id post id that we're getting and the data that it is given by the user so post id and post id is which post id this post id that is coming from the user okay this post id and uh, so that's why this data is super super important one more data that is coming and this data is actually the post id this id and then we need to have a comment comment data is coming from whatever the user gives and also uh, we need username if we have a username property and username you can give any name suppose admin so these are the three property we have needed to build a comment section so this is the comment that user type there and the post id which post id we are commenting on and the username so these are the two data post id and data these are the two data field we need to work with this and now it is filled with all the data okay and this post id will go into this route and in this route we're gonna paste this information and let's check our backend a little bit uh backend a little bit okay so we are gonna commenting on this post id that we passed from the client side and this id and the comment and the username the user have given okay so I think the uh, backend and the frontend setup is done properly and also the UI components 
is setup is done now i think it should work so okay so if it is to work we're gonna set the comment to empty the data okay so let's check it out so this is the first comment to test post it let me check okay okay this is the first comment to test and username is the admin and it doesn't have any replies and we are commenting on on this post id okay so it is masked properly okay so all the data is coming and it is sending into our database okay so this is working super fine and now i'm going to show this all the comments so let me add one more comment and this is the second comment okay refresh it okay so if i refresh that it is working fine okay so now we need to get all the comments so to get all the comment you need to go to our backend first and get all the comments so instead of this we're gonna get all the comments get all comments and here i'm gonna use get all the comment dot find comment dot find where post id is equals to um you get the all the comment what the post id is, is equals to request dot params dot id so we need to get that id first const id is equals to request dot params dot post id that we are um, commenting on we're gonna find where this post id is this and if if id is not null then we're gonna copy this code and paste it so make sure we are checking it if in the request params we have the post id only then we can go into this if statement if we have the id they're gonna find all the comment find means find all the comment where this is the filter where post id is equals to request.params.id you can write it like this request.params.id which is post id you can write this but i prefer it keeping it in a variable and just paste it so there's sometimes you might need to change it okay and you can sort this out as well so if you want to sort it so we're gonna sort it by created at so this is one of the field that we have in the comments so if we go to comment model we have the timestamp truth so that will add created it and updated it as you can see we have created at and updated it so we can copy this thing and go to our comment controller and this is the thing and descending order you can make it ascending or descending but descending is the more preferable because it will show us all the latest comments in the top okay so sort us this thing and find all the comments where post id is equal to recorded param to id that matches with this id and give us all the comments based on this particular post id and it is sorted and make sure it is sorted so this is the very simple line so we have all the comments here and you can pass this thing into the response to the client we are passing this response to the client and else you can write any logic um you can this you can just write it here and pass it pass it here simple you don't need to be really specific because you are learning something and this thing should work just fine get all the comments you need to export that get all comments and now one more step you need to do is we are we are done with the create comment now we are getting all the comments and we need to go to our routes and here you need to go router dot as we are getting all the comment it should be get request okay and this should be so tab 9 is giving me all the suggestions to get all the comments so if you didn't have this tab 9 install this from these packages tab 9 okay this will really give you all the suggestions that you need but here also we need the post id on which post we are commenting and here i'm gonna name it all comments okay so it will go api slash comments slash post id slash comments okay we need to copy this thing 
and it is a get request but before we have added something so that's why it is post request but now we have to have a get request because we are getting some information we are not modifying anything and our api root api is api slash comments okay and then we have to go to slash post id slash comments so you can just copy this out and go to our comments api and here uh, slash comments slash post id slash post ID this should be dynamic okay and get all the comments so make sure it is dynamic post id and we're gonna need to use a template sign and this should be post id okay id okay so it should be post id and this should match with this because based on that we are getting all the comments find all the comments where post id is like this id okay so this is very very important so now we are done with the fetch comments and now we can show it into our ui component and we are back in setup our this endpoint setup is done now we need to use this thing use fetch comments query and it is query make sure it is comments query it is not mutation because we are not adding we are not adding anything we are just getting the data we need to show all of our data here and if i go to fetch all the comments so here we can fetch it fetch all comments so const data comments and is loading it is coming from use fetch all comments or empty and is loading is success i don't know why it's not working properly use add common mutation and use fetch all command i think we i have made, made some mistake there i have to save it okay this should be fetch comments okay um, we need to go to our post detail page and it should be fetching all the comments okay use fetch fetch all comments query okay now it works is loading it is giving us the data in the data property it is giving all the comments let me write it again for you as you can see and here we're going to name it as comments it is loading if you if you want to show the loader in the ui uh, when it is loading just show the user a loader or is error if it is if you have some error you can show it if you have as you can see we in the two places for the post id and also for the use fetch all the comments query so in the both the cases we need to have the same thing uh, we have all the same name so we can name it comment error and here we can write it comment loading need to give all the comments if you're just uh, based on a particular post id you can give a post id here it is up to you because in the in if you go to the use fetch it takes only one parameter which is post id to its out okay so only one parameter would do the work so based on that um, post id we need to get all the comments okay Mm, and just remove it this is for the add comment so if i just add comment function and to add add comment handler okay now this is to fetch the comment okay now the comments this is filled with comments data then what you can do you can just write it like this here i remove everything here i'm gonna write comments if comments dot length are equal zero only then we're gonna show all the comments so comments dot map comment we're gonna map each comment and return and name and we're gonna use this our comment component that we have here and here we're gonna pass the comment each comment after mapping and we need a key prop and this key is coming from this 
comment underscore id because it is underscored ID because this is a mongodb so all the information on the comment section as you can see this based on underscore id so it should have that so this is the unique key and the comment card we need to pass this comment as a props so these are all the basic thing i think you guys know it very very well okay and now we need to pass this comment i think this is created at uh, comment dot created at this is the date time and you can copy this thing this is the username and comment dot username who commented and uh, which field an actual comment actual comment should be here don't worry I will give you all the UI component and also the full code after this course is done only three videos needed to finish this course or only two videos needed so this is our actual comment section and then we have a reply all the thing so first let's check it out okay beautiful oh my god it looks so nice this is our first comment this is our second comment because we sorted out the last or uh, the latest comment is showed on the top so this is really really fine thing so we have done all the commenting section on the beautiful section there but now we need to make this reply button functional so that we can click on it it shows it or it removes it and here we're gonna show our reply so this is our form component and here we have the add reply okay we're gonna only show when you click on this reply button then it should work okay so before that we need to have one more thing which is if we add this is the third comment we paste it we need to refresh it but why we need to refresh it we have to do something right so you need to go to comments api and here we need to add one more thing which is invalidate the cache because article query by default it is holding all the caches in its system but if you add invalidate tags like this is a comment if you write it invalidate tags it, it is going to fetch all the queries, all the comments again after you add one more data into the comment. Suppose you have added one comment into the database. Okay, you have you have written something and post some comment, but it is not showing in the UI. Why? Because it is not refetching. It should fetch the comment again after you add the comment, because if you add some mutation in the cache, you have to invalidate the cache so that it shows the latest content when you call the fetch comments okay because it sh it will make your application real time when you add some data into the comment section it should show you all the comments in real time in this application so that's why you need to invalidate the cache so article query actually caches everything you need to invalidate the cache and fetch all the comments again so that's why you in the mutation section you need to add invalid text but in the fetch section as you can see this is the fetching of the comment here you need to provide the tags okay so if you don't understand any of those things this all, all the data that we are talking about is coming from our redux toolkit article query documentation just learn it it is very very simple you get this make sure those two names are the same because we are working on the comment section it should be common Provide tags into the query system and invalidate tags when you add something it should know that we have a new data now give me all the comments first okay real in real time so that is very very important so let me check and refresh it okay why if you just add it wow it's real time it is done so what article query does it actually freezes everything when you add any data it will not show you the real time but when you add this thing just invalidate the cache and refetch again all the post or all the comments or all the blocks after you add something in real time you should add this invalidate text and provide text okay so that's why the this understanding of this tag is very important but there are more advanced concept which is manual cache update i also have a video on manual cache update which i'm going to show you here already in this video part as well so you have to watch this video and the Redux toolkit also because those both of them are very very important so now we need to work with our button and when you click on this it should appear and also if you click on this this should disappear 
so if you want to do that in the react client system this is our form uh, this is inside our comment and we have we have rendered all of our comments there and as you can see we have the admin user and the timestamp and the comment okay so all the thing is there but this form is actually for the reply button so now we need to have a, a button that holds it up and in the reply button and this is a button if i just on click it should have reply button click okay we need to create a button reply button clicked and here const reply button clicked and when you click on this some state will be changed so const uh, reply button box button box set reply button box okay use state and by default it is not clicked by default it is false so we haven't clicked on this but when you click on this reply button when it is clicked when you click on this button okay so something will happen so what will happen and make sure previous and we are toggling we are toggling the previous feature previous so when you click on this this feature this will turn into on and off true or false when you click on this if the previous is true it should be false if it is previous one is false it should be true so we are toggling the feature so we are toggling it and now we need to check if reply button is clicked or not okay uh, then it should trigger this state so reply button here so reply reply button box is checked okay so we are testing it out reply button is checked when it is true then it's gonna show us this form save this thing okay so let's test it out now it is gone as you can see because we didn't add anything before it is false before this is false set reply button box reply button box is false so that's why we don't see anything but when it is true when you click this button it will be true because by default it is false and then when you click on this the set reply button will turn into true and then we can see this see now beautiful it works really fine in every cases now this is, is done this was really really important now what we have to do you need to work with very very important functionality which is add reply 